hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are gonna talk about how we can revert a particular flow a particular subflow to a previous version so if you are um, a service now developer already using a flow designer there might be a case where you would land up in a situation when you have made a change to a particular flow and you know it, it it's just a mistake that you did and you just want to you know uh, the complete flow to come back the the previous version that was there so but that's another thing that we currently don't have a you know a button that we can just click and the flow reverts to the previous version that it was so there are a, a couple of ways people usually tackle this situation they before making any new changes they go ahead and create a copy of the flow as a you know a v2 a version 2 of that flow so uh, and start making changes on that one uh, without impacting the actual flow but there's there's a way there's a uh, probably a hack that through which we can revert a particular flow to the previous version so today i'll be walking you through that so without wasting any time let's start off so as you can see i have got my personal developer instance uh, up here now the next thing that i will do is go to the flow designer so as you can see i have got a flow over here which says create a test incident and basically trigger of the flow is uh, the, it triggers daily at 6 am and i've got two actions in there which is uh, create incident record and update incident record so again in the create incident record i'm pretty much setting up all the required fields which is short description caller category subcategory config item channel assignment group impact and urgency and in the update incident record i'm updating the work notes of that particular incident as new work notes right so i will just execute this uh, flow once now while this is executing i'll just quickly go back so as you can see i've already got a incident over here uh, just got created and which is inc 001073 now what if i want to make a change in this flow what if i also want to update some additional comments over here or you know we can we can probably look at any updating anything we also want to add a description over here so we go ahead and open the create incident record or maybe update incident record i'll go up on the create incident record and select add a new field so once i'm here i click on description and then i will just enter this description right done and then i will save it right and now i'll test it right so i'll go back to the incident uh, list and i can see i've got another incident created here where i also do have the test description now you don't want the change that you did to be there again it might be a very lengthy flow this is just a test flow that we have so we want to revert to the previous version of this flow the changes that we did adding the description the, we we don't want them we want to revert it to the previous version so for that what you will have to do is you will have to go to your instance and in the filter navigator just type in sys update version dot list right and click enter so once you click enter will show you the updates that are captured in particular update sets now go back to the flow 
and on on the flow designer on the flows go back to the flow and just right click so we have got the create tense incident so we need to grab the sys id of this flow now do a right click copy sys id now once you have got that go back to the list view that we have just opened up a few seconds back and now search for it now as you can see there are a few updates to this particular flow so we have got the sys hub flow and we've got the various versions of that flow that were captured over here now as we made the change just few minutes back and this is the current flow and we want it to be reverted to a previous version so what we will do here is we will go back to the last version that we have and i have sorted it by uh, sorted in descending order with the recorded app so i'll look at the second last uh, record that's here and i will open that record right now once i've got this opened up i it's a same thing that we do with the usual records so reverting to the previous version so in this one i will go ahead and i can also do a compare to the current so and i also revert to uh, this version revert to a previous version which with the version that we want to remove the changes that we did last we want to bring it to the second last uh, uh, flow that was there so we so we do have we now we will be clicking on revert to this version now once we have done that it will ask us are you sure you want to revert your update to this version and click on ok and now the flow has been reverted to the previous version so if, if i go to the updates so we do have another update automatically captured from the it automatically captured as the flow has been reverted to the previous version and now if we go back to the flow and if we open up the create incident record you can see that the description is gone the change that we the value that we added for description is gone and the flow is reverted to a previous version so if we test it one more time it's all good so description is not populated which was the case before so yeah that that's all the that's how you can revert a particular flow to a previous version if you want to and just in case if you land up in that situation yeah that's quite much it for today's video uh, please let me know if there's any feedback regarding this video or if you have got any comments uh, thank you for your time and hope this video is informative and helpful for you